Hello friends and welcome back to Gadget Rishi. In today's video we are going to look at the overhaul of the bowl of a Mitsubishi self ejector type purifier. First things first, we uh, isolate the breakers, switch off the power supply, safety first. Then we put out the uh, lockout and tag out notices to prevent any unauthorized and accidental start. Then we isolate the oil walls. This is the sludge outlet, also the water, and also we we will isolate for our safety the uh, oil inlet and outlet walls. The manual isolation walls, whatever we have, then we drain the residual oil in the line. So these are the drain plugs for the inlet and outlet pipes. So any oil remaining from the last operation will be safely drained out before we proceed on opening the pipes. Normally you will find oil on the inlet side and uh, the left one on your screen is the outlet and the right is the inlet so that's the uh, little bit of oil which comes out yep next uh, using a hook spanner we will uh, open the cap nuts at the top and the bottom of these uh, connecting pipes again for oil inlet outlet that's the outlet pipe so what you can do is you can just remove the top side and turn the pipe laterally so it is safe to work further the bowl cover and uh, all the parts can be safely removed this is the inlet side Next carefully remove the flow rate regulating orifice which is uh, inside the uh, inlet side. Next we remove the connecting pipe for the displacement water on the top also known as the sealing water tube then we remove the cover nut loosen it initially with a spanner and then can be removed by hand next uh, using a spanner we have to remove the nut which is tightening the inlet pipe in my case it was a size 32 and once the nut is out then uh, we have a small socket set screw which is keeping the pipe in the slotted region so using an allen key we need to either loosen it so the pipe can be safely moved up and down or you can choose to remove it completely and keep it safe it's a small part so be careful not to lose it next lightly strike the top of the inlet pipe with a wooden hammer or a rubber hammer give it a gentle tap to detach the tightly held taper portion Next we remove the four socket cap screws locking the frame and the sludge cover also known as the bowl cover itself. Uh, 
next we have a special tool it's the jack which you need to thread it into the threaded portion of the upper hood and remember in this purifier everything goes in clockwise then you mount the handle connect your chain block and it can be safely lifted so with the cover out safely transported and secured we now have access to the bowl so we start with the first special tool it is the disc nut handle and uh, you mount it on the disc nut itself and tap it in counter clockwise direction to undo the nut to get access to the gravity disc the heavy liquid chamber one of the impellers the packing and the gravity disc itself move it slightly so in case you are planning just to inspect the top part or to replace the gravity disc this is up to where you need to go going further we have the light liquid chamber handle and again undo the nut to remove it next the uh, inlet pipe together with the first impeller can be removed next we have the special tool it is called the cap nut spanner it's a special tool to remove the bow locking nut so you set the spanner on the cap nut thread the threaded rod of the spanner into the hole at the head of the cap nut then you turn the handle of the spanner so the first turn would require a tap by a hammer and then you draw it up together with the nut removed that's the nut next to withdraw the bowl itself we have the jack which has to be threaded in all the way till the bowl is lifted a little bit up from its resting position on the spindle you will feel it as you turn it clockwise and once it has moved a little bit up it has left the conical portion of the uh, spindle where it was resting then attach a chain block to lift it up while it is being transported uh, please prepare the uh, dismantling stand where the bowl will come and sit rest to make the further overhaul easier yeah. now that's the special tool for the disc clamping it is used to detach the bowl nut and the withdrawing disc so we have to thread this disc clamp bolt into the distributor tighten the disc clamp plate and once it's all the way in then we turn down the nut and finally strike it firmly with a hammer this is done to compress the disc stack and uh, make it easier to detach the bowl nut that's the special tool for the bowl nut
so make sure first these uh, securing threaded holes are all clear so the tool can be inserted to ensure the tool does not move from its position and securely remains in the slots we have these additional uh, securing bolts which get threaded into the uh, bound nut so tighten them and uh, rotate the tool counterclockwise to open the bound nut it should be easy if the uh, disc clamp bolt earlier was properly used compressing the stack now in preparation to remove the bowl hood we have again a set of special tools we have the jack which is uh, inserted into the bowl hood then we have the push bolt then we have the disc nut which we will tighten all the way keeping the entire set of tools together and then as we move the push bolt as we turn the push bolt clockwise it will raise or lift up the bowl hood so that's our bowl hood it's uh, nice and clear of the bowl next we have the disc stacks so again special tools mount the jack in the distributor thread it all the way it is possible and then lift it now we need to prepare for removing the main cylinder so again set of special tools we have the protective plate which we need to tap into the cap nut installing portion of the bowl body then we have to use the jack and secure it on the main cylinder with the help of four threaded rods make sure they are even and properly tight at the same distance it's very important for them to be even and uh, do this very patiently time to time we need to tap the main cylinder to make sure it is coming out smoothly vertically up without any bend in any direction and uh, then we turn the jack with the push bolt and the handle on top to remove it next we have to withdraw the pilot pole so first we remove the wall nut unscrewing it with a hexagon rod spanner and then we have a special tool for dismantling and taking out the pilot wall it looks like this so you screw it all the way in and then you use the butterfly nut to extract it or withdraw it finally we need to turn the bowl upside down to get access to these two drain nozzles which are to be replaced at overhaul it is supplied as a part of the overhaul kit because it has a very fine orifice which which can get clogged and then the bowl will not function as intended so we remove both the drain nozzles so with that uh, we conclude this video on the uh, dismantling of the bowl of the mitsubishi self ejector type purifiers we have other videos upcoming on the reassembly uh, overhaul of the pilot valve some troubleshooting 
and uh, other maintenance as usual will be uploaded on our youtube channel gadget rishi so stay subscribed and thank you so much for watching the video